So I, I, I would like to say, first of all, you know, that my trip to India was a, a matter of chance, actually, because I never wanted to come to India, to be truthful to you. But it was my wife who led me here and made me discover this wonderful continent, because it's not a subcontinent, it's a continent in its own right, you know. And, and my, my first trip to India, you know, the Bhagavad Gita spoke to me. That's, that's the, and the Bhagavad Gita for me was the source of inspiration for learning Sanskrit. Actually, I remember very well, you know, I was sitting in Pushkar, and I was reading an English translation of the Bhagavad Gita. At that time, I didn't know any Sanskrit nor any Hindi. But it was when Eshulok really changed the way I perceive myself. And I think that's the wonderful thing about classical books, about wisdom books, you know. This was a shlok from the third chapter. And I will just pronounce it, no? I mean, evam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati hayaha agayurindriya ramo mogham partasa jivati. And this shlok says very easy, no? Evam pravartitam chakram. Evam pravartitam chakram. The chakra, the will that turns like this. Evam. Evam pravartitam chakram. Nanu sarati The person who is not following the will of life that turns like this. Aghayur indriyaramu. He lives a life dedicated to the sensual pleasure. And he really ends up wasting his life, okay? If you don't turn with the will of life, the both, you say, the Vedic text and the Gita, which is also a Vedic text, in, in, are full of these wills of life where human action is at the center of this turning of the will to make a world that it is really, you know, um, 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 sustainable. And they say like that already. So, after this, the Gita says, if you don't follow your own dharma, even if you are able to perform the dharma of another person in an excellent way, you are doomed. So this is a very subtle thing. Even if you do the dharma of another person, and you do it well, you will be lost. So, after reading this, I recognize it was a a time of my life, you know, when I was denying my own swadharma. I was a man of letters, and I was trying to be a man of action, okay? And then, after reading that, I came back, and I, I retook my studies, and I, I made, you know, the decisions to come back to India and to study Sanskrit to be able to read the Gita in the original language. And that's basically my story. <laughs>